Isle of Man is a location whose natural beauty is matched only by its tolerance for speed, and it remains the only place on the British Isles where you can legally drive on unrestricted roads as quickly as you safely dare. But unlike the Autobahn, the next nearest public roads where you can do the same, these aren't miles straight three-lane motorways, rather kind of windy mountain roads with blind corners, sheer cliff faces and steep drops that can be intimidating to drive on at any speed. As part of the track for the legendary Isle of Man TT, these roads form the most lethal circuit in the world. And a serious road begs for a serious ride, so I was extremely excited to be taking it on in this BAC Mono. This trip, organized by the BAC boys themselves, is an opportunity for mono owners to come together and enjoy their rides in an iconic location and push their skills to the edge. We gathered in Liverpool at the BAC factory and boarded a ferry for the Isle of Man, all brimming with excitement at the weekend ahead. Everyone arrived to the island in their customized, one-of-a-kind mono, but none of them had this the brand new 2017 BAC Mono. First of its kind and the only one built so far. And that would be my ride for the weekend. Before we tackled the island, it was time for a more controlled environment for a proper shakedown of the cars. When is a mono not a mono? Well, when there's a dozen or so of them all in one place. This is the first time this many BAC monos have been gathered together. Out of only about 70 or so that have been delivered to customers, there's a significant percentage of them here behind me. And we've gathered here on the Isle of Man, one of motoring's meccas, to come together and have some amazing fun. First, we're going to be hitting the track here at Jerby, a nice little track to get us warmed up to it. And then tomorrow, we're going to be driving on the TT circuit. Just sliding into the mono puts you in the mindset for speed. The snug fitting single seat position instantly gives some gravitas to the occasion and you immediately start to focus on the job in hand. Pulling out from the pits onto the track is as simple as it would be in any car, albeit significantly louder with the crack of the gearbox attempting to pierce your eardrums as soon as you move from neutral to first. <laughs> The 2017 Mono features a 2.5 litre Mountune engine rather than the Cosworth unit the car was born with, and still has the Hewland sequential 6-speed gearbox straight out of a Formula 3 car. For 2017 there is now also launch control and a 6-way adjustable traction control system. This might seem at odds with what a lot of people had loved about the original car. It's raw, uninhibited nature, unhampered by electronic interference and relying solely on mechanical grip to keep you pinned to the road. Truth is though, as soon as you build up the confidence to bury your right foot, you realize the enormous mechanical grip that the mono generates means that you would have to be driving way beyond the realms of sanity for the traction control to have to kick in. Uninhibited then by the TC, you are free to fly.
The new engine kicks power up from 285 to 305 brake horsepower, which, if you're taking into account the weight, or rather the lack of it, is a huge jump forward. It's the single biggest change you feel in the new model. More speed wasn't something it needed, but my word is it nice to have. But everything contributes to that sensation of speed, not just the readout on the speedometer. The low, snug, central seating position with your head inches from the gearbox, snapping and cracking your way up and down the box, the positive jerk from the car every time you change cogs, giving you that wonderful mechanical feedback that makes you feel completely at one with the machine. All of it adds to the driving sensation, and a track session in a mono is a very special thing indeed. As intimidating as it looks, the mono is remarkably easy to get the hang of and very quickly gives you the confidence to really start to push. Even moderate speeds feel fast, so you'll get a thrill no matter what your skill level is, but push yourself to your limits and the rewards come flooding in. Each lap you realize how little of the car's potential you've tapped into. And as you chip away at your lap times and you brake later and later, cornering faster and faster, the whole world melts away. Absolutely nothing can enter your mind except the next instruction you need to send to your arms, feet and fingertips to nail that next corner. Race car for the road is a pointless term that's been watered down and overused for years. This is simplicity, uncomplicated, unhindered, uncompromising performance. And as difficult as it would have seemed to me when I drove the original car back in 2012, my favorite ride has got better. The track session was great, but it was time for the main event, a lap of the island following the TT circuit. Seeing the caravan of monos line up ready to take on these legendary roads filled everyone in the group with excitement. And as we took our seats, we could barely contain our sense of anticipation. Three, two, one. did not disappoint. Seeing all those monos tearing around the mountain roads, epic scenery flashing by left and right, and potentially hairy corners coming at you constantly. Having never visited the Isle of Man before, it was the single best first impression I possibly could have hoped for. A gathering of awesome cars, de-restricted roads, decent conditions, and like-minded people all enjoying a machine in exactly the way it was built to be enjoyed. BAC make a big deal out of the fact that each and every car they build is unique, made to the customer's specification and measurements. Truly one of a kind. And what better way to enjoy that than here on an island that feels tailor-made for it. So, in the largest collection of BAC monos that has ever been on the planet, we've just all collectively finished a lap of the circuit, the Isle of Man TT circuit. An unbelievable experience in its own right, but to do it in a BAC Mono has been the most amazing sight, sensation, one of the best driving experiences of my life, hands down. At north of £100,000, the mono isn't for everyone. Even for those who can afford it, enjoying it may only be a once every now and then treat. I'm just lucky I had a chance to tag along and for a short weekend get to enjoy one of the best possible combinations of cars and locations. If you ever get the chance to do the same, do not pass it up.